What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I wanted to share with you my review and my take on the book 108 Proven Split Tests by Russell Brunson. Um, so I've done a, quite a few reviews now on Russell Brunson's materials, uh, including some of his webinars, seminars, and his books, .com Secrets, Expert Secrets. And I have to say that uh, all of his content is really good. Uh, I am I am very happy. It is full of value. It is not filled with some some crappy void stuff that you already know about just to fill up the space. Uh, check out those reviews if you're interested. But the 108 proven split test did not disappoint me. It is a great read. Uh, it's it's very easy to read because it's like in the form of kind of a magazine. So it goes you know split test by split test. You don't have to devote your full energy and attention to it. So if you're sitting at an appointment or waiting for someone in a car. You know, you could just pick this up and read very, very easy to do. Like I said, it's like a, like a magazine, right? So you can get distracted anytime uh, because it's, it's like you can just go one split test at a time. Unlike a book, for example, where you have to get in there and put in your attention. And sometimes it's hard to get distracted away, right? If you're in the middle of something interesting. Um, so this book is literally 108 proven split tests. So Russell Brunson has... 108 split tests that he and or his team have done together uh, and he literally just shares it for us. So this is kind of like insider information uh, that he is just letting out in the form of a book. Really awesome stuff. Uh, he's really not holding anything back from what it looks like. So, you know, just to give you an example, for example, uh, here is um, one of the sample pages. So as you can see, right, he's got a, uh, he's got some uh, examples of his variations, right? This variation versus this one. Um, and then followed by the increase in conversion rates and a little description about it. Okay, so that's what it's like pretty much for every single page. Uh, really easy and gives you some ideas. So in the previous video, I showed you how you can split test on ClickFunnels and how important it is to do split testing. Uh, you must always stay ahead of your game and split test unless your conversion rate is 100%. So if you're running out of ideas and you want to see like what's possible, what could I possibly split test, uh, this has a ton of different ideas for you that you can test out and you can use yourself. Um, so also one more thing I wanted to mention is if you recall, I, I did a video before maybe a few weeks or, or a month or two ago uh, on a book called Convert Every Click by Benji Rahan or something like that. Um, and in that book, I mentioned specifically one of my criticisms biggest problems was that um you know benji talks about uh, all these things that we need to to work on and and uh split test but he doesn't give anything concrete he just says this is something you should split test this is something you should split test but like he doesn't say exactly what could work versus what can't he just for everything he says split does this split does this split does this so reason why i like 108 proven split test is because this book specifically says exactly what it is that could perform better than another so for example you know a color of a button he just literally shows you know this button color has performed this other one by 20 percent like that's perfect right that's all i need i'm not gonna sue you if my button color uh <laughs> won't work right but i just want to get an idea of what like what is the extent of the changes and the split tests um that i can have right and that's what this book has right uh, so, so pretty cool. Um, the one concern though, I do have kind of the one criticism I have is that sometimes there are several changes done from the control to a variation in this book. And it's hard to tell what it is exactly that caused that increase in conversion rates. So for example, if you go to page 54, uh, if you have the book or if you will have the book and you want to come back here, um, one of these examples has kind of this control page with a title, right? Uh, looking at this one, he's got a title. He's got this little pre-frame at the top here, and he's got uh, social media buttons here, right? And then in the variation one, uh, he has removed the media buttons, the social media buttons. He's changed the color of the headline, and he has removed the pre-frame bridge. And the conversion rate increased by 10% from 9% conversion at the control to 10% conversion with the variation one. And so I'm left wondering what it was exactly that caused that increase in conversion rate. Is it the color change of the headline? Is it the removal of the pre-frame bridge? Is it the removal of the social media buttons? So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of left wondering what it is that really works. Yes, I know that you know I should split test everything, um, but just for curiosity's sake, 
you know, I'm interested in knowing what it was exactly that caused the change here. Because as you've learned in our uh, previous reviews on dot-com secrets and expert secrets, Russell Bronson talks about having a pre-frame bridge and its importance. And it is important. What it is, is it's basically getting your customer into the state of mind that, hey, you are here and you have one or two or three more steps to go, right? So it tells them exactly where they're at. And that's incredibly useful because if customers don't know that and they have to go to the next page after next page after next page, they may just quit altogether and say, hey, like how much longer will this take? I can't keep doing this. I'm just going to exit. Okay. But with the pre-frame bridge, bridge, you kind of tell them right off the bat and they can plan ahead. So they can already kind of like mentally prepare for how much longer there is until they're finished. Okay. And that's incredibly important. But over here, it looks like you've removed this pre-frame bridge and um, the, the there is still an increase in conversion rates. So I'm just curious, right? If you would have kept those uh, that that preframe bridge, but still changed the color of the headline, would it have increased your conversions maybe by even much more than the 10%, right? Because actually in one of the other uh, split tests, um, it was uh, shown that a red headline does much better than a black headline, right? So over here, that's exactly what he's done. He's changed the color uh, and conversion rates increased. So I'm just, you know, Point is, there's many things change, and I would just like to know what it was exactly that caused that difference. Uh, that's really my only concern. Other than that, really simple, really easy to read. Um, like I said, 108 proven split tests, and it really, you know, really gives you a ton of different ideas for what you could test and check out. So that's about it. I hope uh, you found some value in this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely let me know down below. I'll be more than happy to help you answer uh, whether you have the book or whether you're about to get the book or whatnot. Um, it took me about a week or so to, to get it in the mail. So it was pretty fast. And um, aside from that, um, everything should be good. Uh, I've been pretty active on my uh, YouTube channel in terms of answering comments and on my Facebook group. So, you know, don't, don't hesitate to send me a message or leave a comment below. Aside from that, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We cover a lot of different online marketing tools here, how to's, reviews, tips, tricks, etc., etc. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.